using the feeler gauge here that we talked about how we like to wipe across this, okay? This motor has such weak valve springs, you can actually push them by hand. So it's an amazing training tool as you guys saw in class, right? Right. Yep. So what we want is we want to be able to, if we can get these set right without basically forcing the spring open, we're going to have a great feel for how filler gauge should drag across that. What my recommendation is, is that you're always just taking and coming across here and trying to get your filler gauge in there. If you're taking like this and forcing it with your thumb, here, you can, you'll see here, I'll grab one that's too big, I can actually force that valve down and open. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, move this adjuster quick. Watch this. I'm just going to turn it with the tool and you'll see. You see me actually opening? Now, if it takes a lot of wrist movement, you know, to open that valve spring on about any other motor, okay? So that's what I'm saying. This one here, we've already done this. We talked about how easy it is to be sensitive. Some people like to take the filler gauge that they wish in here and then go ahead and just snug it up. Make sure that the nut is up far enough to where it's not going to bottom out and give you a false tightness right here. So I can go ahead here and just go ahead and just barely snug that and then I want to feel that drag on there. That's, that's okay, but you got to be really careful that you're not forcing this down and putting a divot on your feeler gauge or jacking up your feeler gauge. You're really better off to, you want to pick a spot where you come in with your feeler gauge here and just get that light little drag on there and try as much as possible to come back so that you're not pushing on it with your finger right there. On, on other motors here, like I said, it's not really going to matter so much. So I want to get that light little drag and then I can you know, fine tune this. So this is that adjuster that I'm using. These tools come in a pretty handy little kit. Just real quickly in review, you always want to have uh, multiple filler gauges. What I always do is I always have, if I want one size, let's say it's going to be six thousandths, I want a six to fit and I want a seven not to. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.